Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making cheese and mushroom stuffed meatloaf. Okay, I'm starting out here in a large skillet and I'm going to put in some olive oil and put about four tablespoons. And I have two medium onions I chopped up, or two small onions. You could also use one large. I'm going to go ahead and throw half of that in with this olive oil and saute it. And my pan isn't quite up to temperature, but that's alright. And I also have eight ounces of mushrooms here that I diced up. I'm going to throw all of them in here and saute them in there too with the onions, just till they're soft and uh, the onions translucent. Okay, while my onions and mushrooms saute over there, and I added some salt and pepper to them just a shot, in a large bowl here I have roughly two pounds of 80-20 hamburger. I'm going to go ahead and crack in an egg. I'm also going to add in that other small onion, and I have about four cloves of garlic here that I minced up. That's going in. All right. I'm also going to add in some Italian breadcrumb. About a quarter of a cup. I might add more. It depends. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm eyeballing that. A teaspoon of ground mustard. A teaspoon of black pepper. A teaspoon of salt. some Worcestershire sauce, about a tablespoon. And I've learned over the years what meatloaf is very important. You want to get it seasoned well because if you don't it's bland as heck. So I'm going to go ahead and get in here and mix this up good. I'm going to have to use two hands. I'm going to blend it well. Okay, now in a 9 by 13 baking pan, I sprayed with some vegetable spray. This is going to make two meatloaves, so I'm going to go ahead and divide these up evenly, or as close as I can get them. And they don't have to be perfect right now because I'm going to be stuffing the middle of them. Try to get them as even as possible, that way they cook evenly and are both done at the same time. This guy needs a little more on him. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and Get in there and make a little pocket in each one. Put the goodies in. Flatten this down to about a half inch on the bottom. Okay, now that I have these spread open, I'm going to put some shredded cheddar cheese in. This is a uh, sharp. Put any kind of cheese you like in there, I guess. I'm going to put about say probably about a half a cup in each one. All right, and now my mushrooms and onions that I sauteed, I'm going to go ahead and put them in there. And if they all don't fit, it's no big deal. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and close these up without burning myself. Alright, I went ahead and I turned these over so the pretty side is on top. So it looks better. I'm going to go ahead and hit these with a little bit of salt and pepper on top. And these are going to go in a 350 degree oven for an hour. But at the last 10 minutes, I'm going to take them out and put more cheese on top of the meatloaf. And I'm also going to put a little water in the bottom of that pan, about a half inch. Alright, my meatloaf is baked for 50 minutes. I'm going to take it out and put more cheese on top. I'm going to put that back in the oven for 10 more minutes to melt that cheese and then this will be done. Alright, my meatloaf's done. Let's go ahead and cut it up and serve up the plate and see what we got. Alright, there you have it. Cheese and mushroom stuffed meatloaf with some mashed potatoes and gravy and corn on the cob on the side. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.